The town was once a name on everyone's lips, but now it was known as the abandoned ghost town nearly a century ago after a mysterious event. The town's folk disappeared overnight. No one knew why, and the town was left with only abandoned buildings and forgotten memories a haunt. One day, a young woman named Emily decided to explore the town. Along with her historian friend, they chose to research the town's history and uncover the mystery behind the enigmatic disappearance. When Emily and her friend arrived in town in their friend's car, it was already getting dark. The deserted streets were silent and the old buildings loomed like ghosts. Emily and her friend decided to spend the night in one of the abandoned houses. The inside of the house was dusty and eerie, but they had no choice but to spend the night here. The first night was quiet, with only the howling of the wind to be heard. On the second night, Emily began to hear strange noises, Distant moans and creaking noses woke her from her sleep. She woke her friend, and together they started searching for the source of the eerie sounds. However, despite sounding nearby, they could never quite pinpoint where the sounds were coming from. The third night brought peculiar lights to the town. Street lights that hadn't worked in years were suddenly glowing. Emily and her friend went outside to investigate. Following the direction of the lights in the center of a square, they saw strange figures around the old clock tower of the ghost town. The figures resembled old photographs of the town's missing residents, who had disappeared years ago. It seemed as if the figures were reenacting the town's past, terrify Emily and her friend fled, running back to their house the next day. They left the town and never returned, however. The events left a deep impression on their minds. The abandoned town remained as a place haunted by the echoes of the past. Some saw the events in the town as a mere ghost story, but Emily and her friend believed there was more to it the documents they found in their research indicated that a group of townsfolk had planned to leave the town during some sort of ritual or ceremony and vanished during the attempt, but the documents didn't provide a clear explanation of their disappearance. Some sources claim the town had underground tunnels and hidden chambers. Emily and her friend decided to return to the town to learn more. This time, they brought a group of researchers and a few mediums with them. When they arrived at the town at night, the lights were shining again, and the ghostly figures were still visible in the square. Emily attempted to communicate with the ghosts. With the help of the mediums, the ghosts reveal that they could roam freely. But there was a condition. The town required regular rituals and sacrifices. Emily and her friend hesitantly accepted the ghost's conditions. They performed the ritual and offered a sacrifice, appeasing the spirits. When the ritual concluded, the town fell silent again, and the ghosts vanished. However, the town was now entirely abandoned. Emily and her friend, leaving behind the horror of the past, departed, but they were uncertain if the curse had truly been broken. The abandoned town remained a place filled with mysteries. Some considered it a typical ghost story, but Emily and her friend believed the truth was deeper. Perhaps one day, the return of the ghosts would uncover the forgotten secrets of the town. Nevertheless, no one wanted to live in this ghostly town anymore. After Emily and her friend 
left the town, they decided to turn to libraries and archives to gather more information about the ghost town. Their research reveal even more mysteries about the town's past. The cause of the disappearance of the vanished townsfolk was still unknown, leading to numerous conspiracy theories as Emily and her friend delved deeper into the historical documents. They learned that a group of people had planned to leave the town and disappeared during some kind of a cult or ritualistic experiment. However, the documents did not provide a clear explanation for their disappearance. Some sources even claimed that the town was filled with underground tunnels and hidden chambers. Emily and her friend decided to return to the town to learn more. This time, they brought with them a group of researchers and a few mediums. When they arrived in the town at night, the lights were shining again and the ghostly figures were still visible in the square. Emily, with the assistance of the mediums, attempted to communicate with the ghosts. The spirits reveal that they could roam freely, but there was a condition. The town required regular rituals and sacrifices. Emily and her friend hesitated but ultimately accepted the ghost's conditions. They performed the ritual and offered a sacrifice, appeasing the spirits. When the ritual concluded, the town fell silent once more, and the ghosts disappeared. However, the town was now completely deserted, Emily and her friend, leaving behind the horror of the past, departed but they were unsure if the curse had genuinely been broken. The abandoned town remained a place filled with mysteries. Some regarded this story as a mere ghost tale, but Emily and her friend believed that the truth ran much deeper. Perhaps one day, the return of the ghosts would reveal the forgotten secrets of the town. Nonetheless, nobody wished to live in this coastly town anymore. Thank you for watching our The Abandoned Town Horror Theme Story video. If you liked the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and comment on the video. If you want the stories to continue, also like the videos, stay tuned.